our most recent Sonic game, we have Windy Hill Zone. Layer 64, and I'm here to be showing off Windy Hills on our Sonic World. Look at that. This sun is setting. Probably Zaz is here, and he's probably with that giant moon, that yellow moon thingy, and he's probably gonna start attacking us now. So, this is Windy Hills Zone as of where it's a small area with some parkour in it, but Windy Hill is mainly known for parkour and it has some secrets also. So, right here, we're taking a little section of parkour and remember those sheep from Sonic Lost World well they're back and ready ready in action just to kick you off well you know what I'm gonna push you off because you don't deserve to live you stupid sheep I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that uh, he's a goner now anyway here's a new section I created which originated from Windy Hill and what it's called is the speed section and what this section does is you gotta drink this potion right here and it's kind of, think of it like a mock speed section. You just gotta keep running and running and don't get hit, but it's really hard to not get hit. So just try to run and try to survive if you can. And I think this is a pretty cool and unique idea that I created and it's really cool. You die too. No, I, I'm sorry. Alright, let's pretend that, that never happened. And you can drink that milk if you want to get rid of the power up. And this is a spring right here, as it were, you can just get bounced up. Think of it like that warp point from the from the other level, Sky Sanctuary. And this right here, you can either take this little grind rail section, or as you get led to uh, all this cool stuff, or you can go this way, which is a speed section, which I think gives you some other cool stuff also. Let me see exactly, yeah, I just give you some extra extra goodies if you want. And here's another section that Andre created, which is called like a wall jump, as a where you can just like run on the wall. It's kind of hard to like do it precise. And then we've got some cloud parkour. And in this little area, which is not finished yet, and I forgot to show off. Speaking of that, this little this windmill thing that Andre created, it looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. And another section. There's like this. This place is not completely done yet. And there's so much more that it's just crazy. And I made a little statue right here. It's like the wisp carrying a little lion cap with a ring in it. It's pretty cool. And we got some more sections right here. And this is a underground section. So if you go to, yeah, this is Windy Cave. If you play Windy Hills on, you know that there's a Windy Cave. Like a, it's a the cave section with some, it just has some parkour in it. Some just place to get extra goodies and stuff. What is this? Diamond? I really don't, I don't remember it actually. Oh, I know what it is now. What this is supposed to be is a, uh, what's that wisp called? The cyan wisp. This is what that section is supposed to be. This is supposed to be the cyan wisp section, as of where you gotta use the cyan wisp to get to the other areas. And there's some other cool features. And this place is huge. If you want to check this out for yourself, if you're our friend, me, and all, me or Andre's friend on Xbox, then you can play on the world with us. You can you can, you can play on the world with us. And look how big this area is. See, look how big this is. This is huge. It's at nighttime, so it looks even cooler. So anyway, that was Windy Hill Zone. And I didn't really want to show too much. I didn't want the video to go really long. And there's just so much to show off. I just want to give you a little bit of an overview over it. That's really the point of these videos. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time.